Melbourne Knights kicked off its busy period when the club travelled to McEwen Reserve in Shepparton to take on Golden Valley Suns in Round 19 MPL Victoria action on Saturday night. The match will be the first of two long distance trips for the Knights, with Andrew Mart's men travelling to Brisbane to take on Olympic FC in the FFA Cup only three days later. The fixture was the first ever meeting of the Suns and the Knights, with the newly created Golden Valley side travelling to Melbourne for the reverse fixture in just under a month's time. Knights head coach Andrew Marth made only one change to his side that narrowly lost to bitter rival South Melbourne last Sunday. Centre-back Ivan Gergic was dropped to the bench in favour of fellow central defender Anton Kovacic, with the youngster possibly rested ahead of the club's FFA Cup match in a few days' time. Michael Doyle retained his position at right-back, but will be forced out of Andrew Marth's squad for Tuesday with the former Adelaide Raiders man, Cup Tide, having played in South Australia's Knockout Cup competition. Shina Linajad was also a name that Golden Valley would be wary of, with the Knights winger coming into the match after scoring a late brace in the club's 4-3 loss against South Melbourne. For Golden Valley Suns, head coach David Davkovsky made two alterations to the squad that toppled Green Gully last Saturday night, with Craig Carley and Antonio Barbaro dropping out of the squad altogether. Filling the void left by the two exclusions were Cody Selwood and Ardy and Vanuki. The home side got things underway in the first half and had the first few chances on goal during what was a largely uneventful start to the match. Ten minutes in and a good through ball forced Michael Doyle into making an early last ditch tackle to prevent a shot on target. From the subsequent corner, the Suns caused some minor headaches for the Knights, with a series of half chances, but the opposition defenders stood tall before an aimless cross sailed over the bar. Shortly after, and the Knights fashioned their first chance and Andriashevich wrestled back possession from a throw-in. On the 25-minute mark, a number of crosses just in front of Suns goalkeeper Filip Petrovsky forced the shot stopper into action, but the Knights were unable to put a meaningful strike on target. Just before the half hour mark, and a long Doyle throw seemed to evade everyone inside the box before falling to Jordan O'Doherty. But the youngster blazed his effort over the bar. Moments later, and O'Doherty had another big chance to take the lead. Some good link up play between Andriashevich and Alinejad preceded a low cross into the box, which O'Doherty scuffed allowing Petrovsky the time to come and collect. But the missed chances didn't deter the Knights. With the fog settling on McEwen Reserve, club leading goalscorer Daniel Vishovic forced a good save from the Suns custodian. From the resulting set piece, Andrew Marth's man finally took the lead after a deflected Kovacic effort hit the back of the net. A goal which was credited as an own goal by the referee 
with replays unable to confirm if Kovacic's flick was heading wide before the deflection. Not long after taking the lead, the away side were cruelly unlucky not to have a two-goal cushion when some brilliant wing play from Vishevich ended with a strike cannoning off the crossbar. Just before half-time, the Suns put a free kick through a cloud of fog and just wide of Chris May's goal. But it was the men from Melbourne who had the last chance of the first period when Daniel Vishevich was set up by former Golden Valley man Stipo Andriashevich. So 1 0 as the players entered half time, with Kovacic's deflected effort the only thing separating the two sides despite a flurry of chances. Not long out from the break, and former Melbourne heart man Simon Colosimo could have equalised with a goal of the season candidate. It was a strike that was taken from pretty much halfway and was inches from catching out Chris May. Sixty-five minutes played and O'Doherty was given another opportunity to double his side's lead, but put his header agonisingly wide of the target. With Tuesday's cup game in mind, Marian Svitkovic was substituted in the 66th minute for Leo Athanasio, with the Knights vice-captain recovering from an injury only a few weeks ago. Shortly after, and the home crowd were given something to cheer about when substitute Tom Langman equalised via Sam Torrens' deflection. Andriashevich and Ilinijad's link-up play was a big positive Andrew Marth will take from Saturday's performance, and shortly after surrendering the lead, the two combined to create another chance on goal. On the 76th minute mark, the Shepherd and locals were sent into raptures again when a goal kick found its way through to the edge of the box for Zachary Fox Hoven to put an effort past May. But the referee's assistant flagged for offside and the goal was ruled out. Not long after, and a surging run from Milan Batur set up Alinejad in the wing to cross, but Andriashevich inside the box was unable to put a header on target. With 15 minutes left on the clock, Alinejad again went in search of a winner, and after cutting inside and out, the Suns defenders put in a last ditch tackle to block. From the corner that followed, Anton Kovacic put a header over the bar. It was a chance that was reminiscent of Andriashevich's from last weekend against South Melbourne. In the dying embers of the game, Stipo Andriashevich could have buried the winner in his first return to his former club when he was picked out by Vishevich, but he put his effort wide of the target. In a final roll of the dice, Daniel Vishevich tried to pick out a teammate with a very late free kick, but Tomislav Vuskok 
put his header off target. The chance wouldn't have counted anyway, with Uskok in an offside position at the set piece. So all square in the end, in what was a game of spurned opportunities for both sides. Both goals also had a hint of fortune about them, with Kovacic and Langman's efforts going in after deflections. The Knights now travel to Brisbane on Tuesday for their big FFA Cup clash with reigning Queensland champions Olympic FC, while the Suns will be again at home next Saturday against Hume City. Melbourne Knights head coach Andrew Marth spoke to Knights TV after the draw. We'll start a, a one-all uh, draw in the end. Uh, a frustrating game. Can you just sort of talk us through your thoughts immediately after that? Yeah, it's a game of missed opportunities. Um, we had so many opportunities. We created a lot of opportunities, as I just said, and uh, just clinical in front of goals. And uh, it was the same scenario during the uh, beginning of the year. And unfortunately, we've gone back, the rotation, we've gone back into it. And uh, it's a little bit concerning going up to uh, Brisbane on uh, Monday. What did you make of Goulburn Valley? Obviously, we had a lot of chances to, to, to take the points, but so did they. What did you make of them after the second game against them this season? I thought they, they've improved ex exceptionally well. You know, they've got some good signings and uh, they've got some smart players at the back. Uh, I think Simon's done a good job for them um, in the central uh, defence role. Um, they're a lot better than what I expected, put it that way. Tommy Oscock took a hit, um, had to come off for a bit of treatment, but came back on. Is he going to be all right for the, the trip to Brisbane? Yeah, he will be. He's only a knock on, uh, I think, on a knee, so he'll, he'll be OK. Um, we took Muddy on off just as a precautionary measure. And uh, we probably won't be able to have uh, Michael at right back because uh, the laws won't allow us for him to play. So uh, we'll get a few issues. And, yeah, looking ahead to the, the trip to Brisbane, it's a massive game for the club. How happy are you with where the boys are at now heading into that game? Extremely happy, eh? Um, would have been a lot happier if we got three points today and, and, and finished the game off, which I thought we thoroughly deserved. But, um, you know, we're going to go up there with full of confidence, uh, even though they're sitting second top and uh, they're playing down that uh, they're the underdogs, which I think is total rubbish because of the fact that home ground advantage and home crowd means a big difference. And uh, we're sitting ninth, so uh, I don't think the competition is that far off. Travelling up here today, then travelling to Brisbane, have you found it sort of difficult to manage the team, make sure everyone's fit and raring to go, or has it been sort of okay? It's been pretty good, you know, you've got to give the club credit. They've organised a bus for us, and uh, um, we're also flying out on Monday morning, so uh, we've got a day to recover, acclimatise up in Brisbane, and we'll have a session Monday night and a little walk on the, on the park on uh, Tuesday morning, so um, they're looking forward to it. <laughs> Thank you.